Man, you got a bunch of stuff laid it out here. It takes a lot of stuff, doesn't it? I mean that. I it, cannot tell you. I don't know why I have never thought about doing this before. What are you doing? Duck dressing. Duck you know, dressing. instead of chicken and dressing, we're doing duck and dressing. Well, all you got to do is just drift through eastern Arkansas and all those people over there tell you, you got to have duck dressing. Well, actually, that's why I'm doing it, because my friend Cheryl said, she said that that was one of the things that she did for Thanksgiving. And I thought, well, duh, duh why haven't sure, I done duck yeah. dressing? Right. So I kind of came up with my own little thing here. But... John, what I've done is I've taken three ducks, you know, preferably greenhead, preferably mallards, and you and you cook them in a in a big pot of water. And I've put celery and onions and apples and bay leaves and sage, um, all in there, and you boil them for a couple of hours, you know, yeah. just to get that that, that meat tender. Uh -huh. Now, don't ever ever throw that liquid away that you've boiled those in. Oh, it's precious. What, it's it's broth, and I mean everything I cook like that, whether it's squirrels or anything, yeah. I, I save the broth. I mean, you mm -hmm. want to save some of the broth for this because you want to put it, you know, uh, over in your dressing because mm -hmm. it's just regular old cornbread dressing. This is a is just a pan of cornbread I made, and tell now I'm crumbling us, that up. Tell me one thing: why yes. duck? Uh, why is duck cornbread so good? Duck dressing so good? Duck gumbo so good? Is it the flavor, the strong flavor of the duck, or the, or is it just good and unexplainable? Well, I think it's the uniqueness of the duck, and I think the duck fat, the fat on the duck, it makes a lot of difference. I mean, I'll oh, okay. even tell you this. I've never done it for duck, but uh, when I cook a goose, mm -hmm. I save that goose grease and use it in other things. It it's really has a... I think waterfowl, the fat on it, really has a good flavor, and I think that's what makes it so rich tasting. I've never heard anyone use the term goose grease except in a joke. <laughs> well, no, it's the truth. I <laughs> okay. use goose grease. Okay. I, get, I just freeze it and then use it, you know, a little bit of it to flavor this. But it has a good flavor. Uh -huh. Anyway, I better get to cooking this or you're going to you get bet. hungry. You so bet. this is a pan of cornbread. Now, I have to tell you a funny story. Okay. My, my family never liked my dressing. Mm. Mother, you know, my mother and my aunt always made the dressing in our family, and then I started making the dressing, and they never liked my dressing because I used stone ground cornmeal. And they don't like that. They used like Aunt that. Jamama cornmeal sure that was, they did. That, you know, and, and, and it, yep. And Just so, like Maxine chili powder. Yep. <laughs> so my so mine is has a lot more body to it. I also use this is about six slices of whole grain bread. Whole grain bread. Yep. I, and I put that bread in there. Okay. This is unique to me. I've never had Is it? You've made. never made, you've never seen we're all dressing ready. made? Oh, we're already beyond my depth. Woohoo! Okay, then this is a, one big onion that I've chopped up. Okay. Put that in there. Here's a couple of cups or about three stalks of celery. You put that in there. Three hard boiled eggs. Hey, yeah, all right. Yeah. Oh, you, your family puts that in your dressing? Yep. Okay. Then an apple never chopped heard up. Never that. Never put an apple. Oh, apple just makes dressing so I good. Bet it does. Now, you can do this with a spoon if you're able to. I'm not. I just have to do it like this. All that other stuff that you boil with the duck, is it in this? No, you strain it. Oh, you strain you it. Just, okay. just like a broth. So you just strain is, it that, up. That is that, that is liquid. a whole pitcher full of duck broth. Uh-huh. Put that. Then this is our three ducks that we've taken off the bone and just sort of cubed up. And I don't do my pieces real small because uh -huh. I, when I take a bite of duck, I want to bite a duck. I don't yeah, necessarily it want it. Yeah. Yeah. Then we're going to put some salt, a little bit, some little bit, a lot of pepper. Whoa, a lot of pepper. pepper. <laughs> yeah, well, you got to have a lot of pepper in, in dressing. Salt, and you? I don't put a lot of salt simply because you can always go back and salt it later, but your cornbread's got salt in it and your duck broth's got salt in it. Yeah. About a teaspoon of thyme. Yep, about a teaspoon of thyme. Put that in there. Then you start adding the sage. Uh-huh, okay. You know, that's yeah. what this is. And I prefer rub sage. And I like a lot of sage. I like a lot My of sage. My dad, he said, I like a lot of sage. I like a he lot of sage, too. He likes a lot of sage, sage in, uh, in, in sausage. And I, me, too. Everything. Me, yeah, too. Everything. I'm with your dad. Yeah. And I, the only way to know if you have enough sage is you have to mix it up and then you have to taste it. That's the only way you'll you ever know. You taste it dry? 
No, I'm oh, going to put gonna, add this duck broth. You're going to wet her down. So right what you're going to do is just add duck broth, and you're going to add quite a bit because you want it to be really moist, and that cornbread is going, and those breads are going to soak that up. You don't want it to be soupy. No. But you want it to be almost soupy. Yeah, right. Yeah, and then you just add it a little at a time. A little at the time and it work it in. And until it flows through your fingers properly. Oh, gosh, listen to him. Now, you, he just said he'd never seen dressing made like this, and now he's talking like he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> mm. And I, I'll tell you something else, John. What I like to do is, now, to see, that's just about the right consistency. Well, that, that call that pretty soupy. No, well, it, yeah, but that cornbread is going to soak that yeah, up. Yeah, it will. And I'm going to tell you what. Also, I like, I prefer to make my dressing one day, put it in the refrigerator, and cook it in, the next day, because it, it has more time to absorb yeah. the flavors. Yeah. In the, in mm -hmm. the, so uh, this is the only way you can do Won't it. Won't hurt it. Won't. Oop! I believe we got a scald on that. Got the scorch yep. right on it. All now, right. All what right. I would do? Here's a gold star right on your forehead. Is put this now. We'd put it in a bacon dish. I really like to use these little uh, kind of roasters because yeah. I can freeze it in that. Yeah. Uh, you can put it in one great big pan. You can put it in two medium size or three little ones. It depends on if you're feeding a family for the holidays or if you're um, I'm just going to eat it along. That whole works is not going to fit in that pan. No, oh, this is going to okay. be two of these pans or okay. maybe three. Okay. Anyway, so that's the dressing. But knowing you, yeah. And knowing how you're just salivating and you're standing over there hungry, I just happen to have some already cooked. Phyllis, I will dance at your <laughs> next three weddings. But you're going to have to wait just a little bit longer because you know what we eat with fix, what I fix with, with this dressing? What? Cranberry salsa. I've never had that either. That's what we're going to show right here. Cranberry salsa. I've taken a package. It's like a 12-ounce package of cranberries. Isn't that pretty? And, three, and fresh cranberries mm -hmm. and about three-fourths cup of sugar Ooh. and cooked that for about 20 minutes till those mushroom, uh, mushrooms. Mushrooms. Mm. It doesn't look like, does that look like a mushroom? Give me, a, give me a, a spoon. I'll check this out. <laughs> Until <laughs> those cranberries pop and, and get done, cook <laughs> like that. I take that off the heat. I stir in about a cup of orange marmalade. Really? Yep. And then I just let that set till it gets cool. Mm -hmm. Then I add, oh, about a half a cup of green onions, just oh. the white part only, about a half a cup of chopped up celery. My goodness. One jalapeno pepper uh -huh. chopped up. Yeah. About a couple of tablespoons of uh, cilantro. Now, for anybody that thinks salsa always tastes like tomatoes, you're just wrong. No, this doesn't taste very tomatoey, John. No, but most of it does. And then when you get, look, see how pretty that's already getting to be? Yeah. But it's done. I mean, that's all you have to do to that. Oh, really? You're not even yeah. going to heat it up anymore? Oh, no, no, mm. no. You don't want it. You want it cold or room temperature. Uh -huh. Once you get it mixed up, then you're going to squeeze, oh, just about a tablespoon of lime juice over it. Yeah. There it goes. That's the salsa. That's now, would you like to have some uh, duck dressing with you, salsa? You bet. Cranberry salsa? <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm going to go over here and get it. Okay. Now, see, this was one of my pans that I made earlier, and then I just freeze it in that. Now, it's a little bit darker Ooh, than... Uh, than you're used to because it's because it is duck and it's got the duck broth in yeah. it. Uh -huh. So if we put, just took that out of the oven. So if we're going to put a little bit of, and see how see how it's still moist. Oh yeah. Oh and look, it's not the least bit hot. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad the winner we'll finally got Put a little bit of here. cranberry sauce on here, and you are ready to go. You are ready to taste. Taste this, okay? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna just watch you. I don't think I'm even gonna recap. Oh my. There's just so much to it. I'm just gonna watch you and see how. Now oh. it's got. Remember, it's sagey. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh boy. I'm so glad he always says that. Oh boy, how do you? Did you taste the salsa yet? No, not yet. But what are you gonna do the rest of that? <laughs> <laughs> I might send just a little bit home with you, or I could send some of that that's not cooked yet, and then you could cook it up, and you'd have it all hot and fresh. I'll take either one. Either one. 
You try it. Mm -hmm. Duck dressing, duck and dressing, duck and cornbread dressing, and cranberry salsa. And if you don't have duck, you can use turkey, you can use chicken, you can use pheasant, um, you can That's use wild. whatever you want to. Isn't that fabulous? That's wilder than the dressing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, a fun way to do duck and a fun way to do cranberries. Mm -hmm.